Hey, it's Adam with Tech Dive AV Club, and I've got another video for you. If you've seen this thumbnail before, it's because I redid the video to be more exact and have a better answer because a user on Reddit reminded me about something that I had completely forgotten about, and it was just a way better way to do it. So, if you are trying to edit audio, for example, if you're trying to get something to loop perfectly, with your in and out point here that you can set just by clicking and dragging above your timeline, uh, you can hit Q and turn it blue. And if it's blue, it will repeat infinitely. Now I'm going to uh, repeat it just a little bit just so you can see how, how it works here. Now if you want to repeat infinitely, like if you're trying to make a perfect loop or something, sometimes it's hard to get the exact uh, piece of audio you want, right? So if you look right here in the audio, uh, I can't get exactly locked to this edge because I keep jumping right past it or right before it. And that's because video jumps frame by frame. And while you can uh, increase the frame rate, which is what I had done before uh, to get more exact uh, timeline placement, uh, there's a better way to do it. So first off, let's go to the properties. If you're messing with just audio, I recommend going to the properties and going to the ruler tab and turning to samples because then you're gonna have a much better time seeing uh, the difference because with samples uh, in your timeline, this is actually what your audio is measured by. And so you're actually going to be able to see kind of the length, the real lengths when you're able to zoom in. It'll subdivide more and more and more in a way that makes more sense. The way to actually get it to hit exactly on the frame if you're editing just audio is to right click and hit quantize to frames. And then you can So to be specific, quantize the frames was on. That checkbox was enabled. Uh, and this can, makes it locked to video frames, which is helpful when you're editing video because uh, when you're editing video, uh, there's every frame you, you know, every frame matters uh, with uh, connection to the audio if you're trying to edit them both together. But when you're not editing video, that can get in the way. So when you turn this off, now you go by the minimum unit, which is samples. So you can connect right on top of it uh, and that's all you have to do if you need to edit one more thing I want to know if you need to edit the video and audio separately uh, one thing you can do is hit shift while you're doing that and then you can move the audio separately as well I've mentioned that in a lot of other tutorials but I just feel felt like this would be a good place to mention it again obviously if you want to unlock them you can just come down here and check uh, ignore event groupings and so anything that you have grouped together will become ungrouped so things that are naturally grouped like audio and video will become ungrouped i'm just going to hit Control z and then uncheck that again if you uncheck that they're grouped together again what shift does is just ignore it temporarily so that way you can keep things connected but still kind of move the audio independently so this is some tips about editing audio namely the quantize the frames thank you so much uh to uh the patient subscribers who mention this to me and uh, usually I feel like I do a pretty good job of having the right answer the first time but this time I'm humbled and thankful that the right answer got to me quickly so I could make a new video. Thanks for watching. Like this video helped you out. Subscribe if you're looking for more videos like this one. I will see you guys next time.